Hey everyone, I'm King. Welcome back to King Spade channel. Before we get into this video, if you like to support the work that I'm doing here in this channel, I have a Patreon link in the description down below. Sign up if you want to. Go check that out. So in ROX, how many pet you should have? Ideally, or at least you should have one pet for PvP and one pet for PvE. For hardcore PvP player, the usual pet that you see in the PvP arena like WOC is the gold pet mistress because of its talent skill that can have a chance to one hit kill your opponent this is especially useful against those million HP tank class like the paladin usually if you see in a match where it is impossible for the tank to be killed because he is just too tanky but suddenly was KO'd it is because of this pet the second most used pet in WOC that I see is the dragonfly Pet. It has talent skill to inflict random debuff to the enemy. The newer pets are not that exciting. One particular pet that notable to be mentioned is maybe the Maya pet. It can be useful in PvP. With its talent skill, it can negate range attack for few seconds, which is super useful in PvP against those range DPS like Light Knuckle Shooter, Longbow Shadow Chaser, and also the Warlock. For PvE, one pet actually is not enough. You need at least two for rotation. When you have been using your pet for long enough, its stamina will be depleted. And to generate its stamina back, you need to let it rest. And for that, you need a second pet to use while letting it to recover its stamina. And that is what I am going to do in this video. I'm going to get another pet. I had been using the Dokebi pet for its talent skill and also its aptitude. The Dokebi pet have talent skill to increase your crit damage and attack speed, which is suitable for my crit build ranger. Now a lot of players said that the Dokebi pet is for early gameplay when you don't have high crit damage and the Dokebi pet can give that instant crit damage boost. For later game, the Anubis is better because of its element skill that can reduce the target final damage reduction and final damage bonus stat or even can lower down the target final anti-crit but to be honest the final damage bonus and final damage reduction decrease is not that much and it is a debuff to one single target which if you use it for your daily afk farming or normal monsters the monster will be killed within seconds and the pet element skill will have six seconds cooldown at least by the time it uses the skill you already actually kill the monster so it is not the most efficient way of using the anubis pet in my opinion the best way to put it into perspective once and for all for the crit build especially the dokebi pet is a great pet to be used for general purpose or in pve the anubis pet is best to be used for mvp hunt because then you can actually utilize its element skill to lower down the mvp final Final damage reduction and final damage bonus. So if you do a lot of boss hunt, you can use the Anubis pad. Now that being said, back to the video. The second pad that I am going to catch is, can you guess? another dokebi pad i don't do a lot of boss hunt if ever at all so dokebi pad will be better suit for me and this is actually a great time to catch pad because during the blazing party event the chance of taming or catching a high quality pad is increased by 50 percent so for my first pad last time i tried three times and all three pads are just b grade so i don't know if this statement is true but let's hope for at least a grad pad for my second pad to catch a pad you need at least six timing items for the dokebi pad you need six armlet of obedience timing item and it is so expensive Expensive. You need to start saving crystals now for the upcoming One Punch Man event, especially for the event cards. Hopefully, there are good cards for this event, and also maybe for costume if you like to collect cosmetic in ROX. So, six armlet obedience timing item is just too expensive. 
expensive, but luckily the blazing party event have taming item reward that you can exchange it with, so it saved a lot of my crystals. I ended up getting 12 taming items, just in case if the first try is a bad catch, meaning just another B grade pad, alright? Let's get it okay, be pad. Nice, A grade Dokebi pad on the first try and it got high aptitude value on the crit damage stat as well, it's perfect. But I am thinking to swap the grade with my main Dokebi pad so that I have a A grade Dokebi pad with higher level. To swap the pad grade, you simply click on the transfer button option and now whenever you have the same pad but different grade, you can then swap its grade. So now the problem is, my first Dokebi pad initially have higher final physical damage reduction stat than the crit damage aptitude and I have issue on that. I can't be able to sleep at night from thinking about it over and over. I know it will bug me all day, so let's change that. Let's refine the path to have a different aptitude value. To refine it, I don't have a choice. I need to buy the path refine item from the path NPC because I don't have any. This is wasting crystals, but it has to be done. Hopefully, it turns out good at the first try. I don't want to waste so much crystals just for this. Alright, it turned out good. The crit damage value is increased, the final physical damage reduction value is decreased, but the physical attack is decreased as well. And for me, that is okay. I am fine with that. So now, we just need to level up the second Dokebi pad. These two Dokebis will be used alternately whenever one of the pads is low on stamina. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. This time video shoutout goes to... Thank you for always supporting me and this channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. And as always, happy playing. Bye-bye.